Okay, shout out to Virgo Chick 916 on Twitter. I'm a Virgo, so I love the name. Now that the strike is over, are you going to get that second spaces with Deval Ellis? And honestly, I'm not going to lie. I completely forgot about the aspect of interviews. Uh, because as you know, there's a lot of stuff going on right now on my end. The house stuff is moving forward. Uh, working like a dog to save money. So, you know, I'm still trying to get this channel back into YouTube's good algorithm graces. Uh, selling stuff on eBay. So interviewing has not been my priority. But yes, um, I replied to the tweet last night basically stating I'd love that. Same goes for a number of cast members from Sisters, Zatima, The Oval. But the thing is, um, I understand that there is a Black Friday-like rush going on for actors in the industry because with uh, the strike over, I know a bunch of actors are no doubt focusing on their self-tapes, auditions, and whatnot. Uh, some studios picking up where they left off prior to the strike. So I don't know if I can score an interview not just with DeVal, but with anyone at this moment. And I'm not going to push it because of the fact that I completely understand. They need to get on their grind again. I mean, but then again, uh, Zatima season two is over. Season three has not been filmed yet. So I don't know. Maybe I could score an interview with uh, one of the Zatima cast. But I, I guess the purpose of this video, and I'm, I might make a community tab post about this as well. Let me know in the comments, who would you like me to get an interview with in the near future? I I can already tell you off the top of my head, I bet most people are going to say, Crystal, get Fatima up on here. I would love that. I just don't know if it's, po I mean, I'm not going to say it's impossible. I'm not going to say it's impossible. It's just a matter of, I don't know. I mean, whoever wants to do it, I think uh, in July, after DeVal's interview, I said, yeah, I'd love to interview like Trinity, Ebony, um, KJ, and a few other people. But yeah, let me know um, who, who would you like to see do an interview with me. Now, on a side note, I just found, I'm not, I'm not going to say it's bad news. It's not bad. But um, I did contact the housing place um, last night via email with some uh, follow-up questions about the closing. The closing stuff is all good, so there's nothing wrong with that. I just wanted an estimation on, hey, um, do you know when like the house is going to be ready and when will it be delivered, that kind of stuff. And I was informed that it might not be until late April, mid-May. And I'm like, ah, oh, that's so, it sucks because I was hoping it would have been sooner than that. I mean, and look, who's to say it won't be sooner because that's a tentative date on when the construction and everything is going to be ready. I understand these things take time. I, You have to look at it from my perspective. This thing has been like over two and a half years trying to get a house. And then, what was it, in February or March of this year, I finally got the quote-unquote financial stats in order to get approved as a self-employed individual. And then here it is eight months later when I finally closed on the house, and now I got to wait pretty much half a year to physically get it. So for me, that's a letdown because I was hoping to have my office setup because I really wanted a professional setup for camera face interviews. And yeah, I know Twitter spaces is great, very convenient because it's all audio. Yeah, I'm disappointed. So unfortunately I'm stuck in this little ass bedroom for uh, several months. So interviews, um, I'll still get them. It's just, I was hoping for, you know, my full-on setup to be in place, but oh well. The only positive of this 
is that it allows me to save way more money before I actually move in. Not to mention, they were like, hey, don't worry about the tentative date on house payments because they just threw out a date of like the beginning of next year just because they need to throw out a date. But you don't pay anything until you've already moved in. So at least I don't have to worry about that for several months. And I know um, the the strategy of having at least six mortgage payments in your savings account, which is a strategy I do hope to employ. So things are going to be hectic, but at the same time, I know it's going to be worth it. I'm just frustrated that it's not happening as soon as I thought. So fooey, but for now, um, yeah, I will, uh, see about interviews, uh, maybe in the near future, but of course the holiday season's coming up too. So that might actually impact actor availability, but trust and believe as soon as I get linked up with somebody that wants to do an interview, I will let you know. So with that being said, uh, yeah, like I said, please let me know in the comments who you, would you like me to interview any of the shows I review and, uh, hopefully we can make it happen. And Hey, Hey, how about this? Maybe you can like reach out to the people on Twitter, Instagram, what like, uh, tag this person like, Hey, you ought to do an interview with Jeremy because the strike is over. You know, maybe that can like, point them in my direction because like I said I try to cater to what you all want so yeah if you want it to happen with Crystal KJ whoever tell me tell them let's try to make it happen 